Hi, it's V with Crafting Daily Dose, and today I have another alternative for the September 2023 paper pumpkin kit called With Love and Gratitude. I'm using some of the pieces to create this project because nothing says fall like a pumpkin spice latte. And even if you are not a fan, you probably know someone who is. So why not treat them to something fun? Stick around and I'll show you how to brew this up. Here are the pieces for the project. My coffee cup is crumb cake cardstock, but really you can use any color that you'd like. It is three and a half inches across, eight and a half inches in height, scored down the middle at four and a quarter inches. Over here, I've got some pieces of basic white cardstock and I'm using the thick version here because this is what gets pulled out and so I'd like for it to be nice and sturdy. This piece is two and a half inches across by four and a half inches in height. Then we've got two pieces that are each three and a half inches across by one half inch in height. From the kit, I'm using the mini note card base and this is seven inches across by three and a half inches in height, scored down the middle at three and a half inches. Now we're going to do some additional preparation to all of these pieces together. I also have some die cuts from the kit. I'm using the leaves, the pumpkin, and one of the sentiment labels. And I'll be stamping with the Lost Lagoon color. That's everything, so we're ready to get started. Let's begin with this crumb cake cardstock. As a reminder, it is three and a half inches across by eight and a half inches in height, scored down the middle at four and a quarter inches. And it's gonna be oriented like this with the fold along the bottom. Now I want to take and measure off one half inch from each side along the bottom. Since I have my trimmer out, I'll use that to help with my measurements, but you can also use the grid paper or of course a ruler. So I'm turning it this way just for now. The fold is along the top now, and I'm just going to use these markings here. Each one of these blocks represents a quarter of an inch. So to get one half inch, I'm counting off two blocks. So I'm just gonna put this here and count one, two, and make a mark. And on this side, one, two, and make a mark. Once again, this is along the folded edge. Now I'm going to take and use my trimmer to cut from the top corner down to one of those marks. So I'm gonna line that up along the track of my trimmer here. Same thing on the other side, going from the mark to the corner. Turn it around this way just because it's easier for me. And here's what we get. Now this is optional, but if you'd like for it to look a little bit more realistic down here on the bottom, you can go ahead and round those corners. Some of you may have a punch to do that. I'm just gonna use my snips and just round that out a little bit. Now our coffee cup is ready. Next, we'll work on this piece, which was originally one of the mini note card bases from the kit. If you've run out of that, you can use cardstock or designer series paper. And as a reminder, the measurement is seven inches across, three and a half inches in height, scored down the middle at three and a half inches. Now, this time I've got the open edge and I'm going to mark down one half inch from the top. I want to make a cut from this top corner down to the mark that I just made. Here's what that looks like. I'll open that up for you. 
And now I'm going to rotate it counterclockwise. I've got the wider folded base down here and then the more narrow open edge up here. And I'm going to turn it slightly so that this angle here now becomes straight. And I'm going to put that at the two and a half inch mark. So basically we are going to be making a little parallelogram. So that diagonal line is now straightened up. My folded edge is here, my open edge is here, and I'm gonna go ahead and cut. Here's the piece that comes off, and this is gonna be the piece that we're working with. I'm going to bring my coffee cup back in, and I'm going to use that as a way to figure out where I need to fold this down. This is going to be the band that wraps around the coffee cup. And so I want to make sure that it fits properly. I can take this and I can just simply fold it over like so. I can do that without scoring first, and it's still a pretty nice fold. If you were instead using cardstock for this piece, you might want to score it first because it won't be as easy to fold. But this works for our purposes. Now I'm going to fold the other side as well. And then later on, these are going to become our gluing tabs and they're going to attach to one another. I'm going to hold off on actually adhering them together, but I wanted to make these lines because that's going to let me know later where I can stamp. Now for this piece of basic white cardstock. I'm going to take it and Using my snips, I'm going to round off these top corners, just like I did for the bottom of the coffee cup. Just a small detail that helps it look a little bit more real, but it's optional to do. And now I've got my two strips here, and I'm going to attach them to this piece. And I want it to be, oh, about half of an inch down from the top. So I'm gonna put some glue here, just concentrating on the middle part, not quite putting it on the ends just yet. And I'm using my grid to help me line this up. Looks like this side might be slightly longer, but I'm not gonna to worry too much about that. I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to glue the other piece right on top. And this time I am going to put glue on the whole thing. Okay, now I'm just going to shorten this a wee bit. And then I'm going to round off these corners as well. And that is going to be what holds our gift card. Now it's time for stamping. I'm bringing out my silicone craft sheet so that I have a little bit of cushion underneath the paper. I'm choosing to stamp the For You sentiment and I'm using Lost Lagoon ink. Next, I'll stamp the coffee cup sleeve. Now, I have to decide which one is the front. So I'm putting my little glue tabs together and I can see that if I do it in this direction, I'm gonna be able to see this seam from the front. So I'm going to do it the other way and that's gonna look a little bit neater. So this is gonna become my front. I'm gonna open this up and I'll stamp on this section here. I'm just reversing those folds so that my piece will lie flat. 
I'm snipping one cluster of leaves closer to the right. And then this is going to be the back. Here I'll stamp two sets of leaves, and it's perfectly fine for them to overlap. We're ready to put together the gift card holder. I'm taking the coffee cup sleeve and reinforcing those folds with my bone folder. And now I'll put glue on the adhesive tabs. I'm opening it up just to make sure that nothing is stuck that shouldn't be. That looks good, so we can drop our coffee cup into the sleeve. And then I'm going to arrange the die cuts. I like to use my fingers to curl up the edges of the leaves for more dimension. And then I'll put dimensional foam stickers onto the label. Notice that part of the label hangs off the edge and so I don't want to put any dimensionals underneath there. I'm covering up that part with my finger so that I don't forget. Now to attach the gift card, just use a couple of those glue dots from the kit. and then drop it into the cup. There's our finished project. We've got our adorable coffee cup with the decorated sleeve and a fun treat inside. Your recipient is going to love this a latte. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed this dose of creativity. If you get a chance to try out the project, I would love to see it, so share it in my Facebook group or tag me if you're sharing elsewhere. If you're interested in Paper Pumpkin but don't yet have a demonstrator, you can find my subscription link as well as all of my other links in the description box below. I hope to craft with you again next time, and until then, have a great day!